Welcome to the Daily Energize Podcast, where you'll get a jolt of energy and a quick tip to help you conquer your day. Now here's your host, the Prince of Positivity himself, Spencer Jones. Hey Energizer, welcome to another day and another episode of the Daily Energize. I really hope that this episode and all of these episodes help you live your life to the max, right? They, they give you a quick tip and a jolt of energy so you can be rocking and rolling your day and shining your light as bright as possible. And if they don't, or if there's some way that we can improve them, please let me know. Seriously, just don't hesitate. Just reach out. Let me know if there's something we can do to make this better, right? I'd love to hear and see how we can improve it. So feel free to reach out. My email is spencer at spencermjones.com, or you can find me on social media at Jones and Four. Let me know your thoughts of how we can make this podcast even better yet. Uh, so yeah, let me know. I'd appreciate it. All right, today's episode is all about your why. Why do you want to shine bright? Why do you want to accomplish those goals? Why does your dreams matter? At least why do they matter to you? What's the reason why? I know for me, uh, and, and it changes, it depends on what the focus is. My why for working out is different than my why for, for shining my light. Now, it plays into it, right? I want to make sure I'm happy and healthy and able to chase my passions and do the things I, I want to do so that I can continue to shine my light as bright as possible. Like, they work together. But I have different whys. Like, I want to stay fit, stay healthy, so I can chase my passion, so I can be there and hang out with you and go hiking and, and uh, hang out and run and play with my nieces and nephews and, and have as long of a life as possible. So I can continue to shine as long as possible. All right. So I, I've, my whys uh, focus on that for fitness. But my why for for shining my light and continuing to shine my light is I don't want to hurt any more people. I've already hurt so many people in my life by being ego man and and not knowing better that now I'm trying to not hurt people. I'm trying to be really conscientious in how can I share love? How can I share joy? How can I, how can I help other people step into their light and shine as well so that we are making this world a better place as opposed to hurting it like I was for years? So, I mean, and there's, there's many, many other reasons in there. That's just one of them or a couple of them. So why... Do your goals matter? Why uh, Why does your vision matter to you? What's a driving force behind it? Because the world's going to throw storms your way. The world is going to do it, right? You're going to face obstacles. You're going to face challenges. You're going to go through those valleys. Why does it matter? Right? Even if you just th think of working out as an example of this. All right, well, why do you want to work out? When you're in bed and you have to get up and, and get to the gym and work out, you're comfy. You're like, the bed's so nice and warm. It's cozy. I don't want to get out out of here and work out. But, so you, I mean, you, you have a choice. You can stay sleeping in or you can get up and work out. Well, your reason why is what gets you out of bed to work out. Your reason why is the reason why you keep going on your journey when the going gets tough. When it seems like it's an uphill battle. Your reason why is what's driving you and what pushes you and, and helps and pulls you forward. So are you clear on it? There's uh, an activity and exercise that I know I've shared this before in, in a number of places, but it's always a nice little reminder. And that is the seven layers deep. Uh, I learned it from Michael Faber, but uh, he didn't create it. He got it from another person. I, I can't remember who first created it. But in any case, seven layers deep. It's basically you ask yourself, why does that thing matter seven times? So, okay, why? Why does this matter? And you answer that. Well, why does that matter? Okay, well, why? And why? And why? And why? And you do that seven times. Usually at first, the, the first one, two, maybe three answers are very surface level answers. But then as you continue to ask why, you get deeper and deeper and deeper. And you know you've hit the big one when you feel a pull on your emotions, right? It gives, 
it pulls on your heartstrings a little bit. That's when you know that, or a lot, <laughs> that's when you know that that's it. And there might be more, but usually that's, that's where it holds. So I like to think about uh, my reasons why as roots of a tree, right? So our goal, uh, our vision, whatever that is that we're trying to go after is a tree. And it has all these roots. Well, storms come about in life and that tree gets hit by that storm. Sometimes to keep that tree upright, the tree needs to use just its surface level roots, which are great, right? It can hold it steady. And those surface level roots are like those surface level reasons why. Oh, I want to look good. I want to feel healthy, right? They're more, uh, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say shallow, but just more surface level answers. And then sometimes that storm gets really strong and we need to dig deeper. And so when that happens to the tree, it uses a surface level roots and the deeper ones. So for you, maybe you have to use your first, second level uh, reasons why, but then that storm is really hard and you need to use third, fourth, maybe even sixth, seventh, or even eighth, ninth, depending on how many you did. And that's okay. But if you don't know your reasons why, you're most likely not going to keep going forward. And maybe you've done this exercise before. Maybe you know what your reasons why are. But do you know them through and through? Do you know them so clearly that you could tell them and rattle them off at any point? I'll be honest, I don't. I do for some things. I know my whys through and through for some things. But I need to know them better for others. Because otherwise those storms get me. And I struggle. It's something I'm working at. And I thought I'd share it with you and hopefully help you on your journey. Because for me, when I have persevered, when I have reached my goals and, and keep going, it's because I know my reasons why because that helps me push through those storms. So what's your reason why? Why does shining your light matter to you? Why do or why does your goals, your vision, why does that matter to you? Think about it. All right. Thank you for being here, joining me. And if you know someone that this episode and this podcast would be helpful to, please share it with them. Don't, don't keep it all to yourself. Please share it with one person. I really appreciate it. That way we can help them and help the world step into their light and shine. All right. Thank you for being here. Keep being you and shining bright. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Thank you.